afternoon, everybody. Um, congratulations to all the award winners. They were so well deserved today. I'm Rosie Van Adestein, and I lead the Economic and Community Development Team at MDF. This team includes the main downtown center, the C Main project, workforce development, the four main coalition, as well as the grant and proposal writing team. And I'm excited to be presenting this award. As we know, rural communities and regions are the beating heart of Maine, and in turn, the Maine economy. Folks who keep these engines running often wear many different hats. They own or lead businesses, large and small. They coach little league and field hockey and school groups. They serve on multiple boards of directors and are often part of the town councils or select boards in their communities. They are community cornerstones because they believe in the power of the collective and the possibility of each and every Mainer. Ryan Bushy is one of these community cornerstones. He grew up in Holton, graduated from Holton High School. He did leave Maine to go to college and he worked in California and Florida, but we'll forgive him for that because he did come back home to raise his family to get his master's degree at Hudson University and to work in a leadership role with LP Building Products right back in his hometown of Holton. He has been a critical force in LP's growth in the region and in the region's effort to foster the dreams and aspirations of the next generation, inspiring them to see their potential in the forest industry. Ryan volunteers and serves many organizations. He serves Four Main, which is the Forest Opportunity Roadmap Coalition, where he chairs the Workforce Committee, the Holton Rotary, Northern Maine Community College Foundation, the Aroostook Partnership, and many others, all while working as the manager of HR and safety for LP and raising two children with his wife. These are just some of the reasons why LP and Ryan specifically are the winners of this year's Champion of Rural Economic Development Award. Let's watch. Growing up and we spent a lot of time recreating in the North Main Woods. Uh, we had camps all around, spent all of our weekends, you know, hunting and fishing and recreating. It allowed for me to understand the forest products industry. Uh, my family, looking back, had the first contract uh, to cut wood back in 1862 on my mother's side of the family. Uh, so we've always been involved. My grandfather was an old school pulp cutter, you know, hand crew, uh, bulldozers back before skidders and all that came evolved. What I've always enjoyed most are the people that are in this industry. The people are genuine, they're hardworking, and they've just been very great in my entire career, just embracing me and giving me opportunities. And here at LP, I've been here 15 years now. The opportunities have continued to flow. Overall, as far as community-mindedness goes, Ryan really is a hometown boy. He looks out for the next generation. He wants to have um, students in. He wants to have the public in to see where they can go with their careers, not just jobs, which is a, an important part, I believe, of, of the whole, you know, what we're doing at CTE, as well as what he's trying to do here. When the forest industry was retracting and the development groups were in somewhat in crisis trying to figure that out, I remember that a Roostic Partnership uh, started a forestry task force at the time. And the first person they thought that they had to have involved in that was Ryan. Like we need to have Ryan involved in that forestry workforce, uh, that task force to try to transform what was going on with forestry, uh, logging, lumbering, wood supply, you know, the whole thing, the whole ecosystem. We're working towards making sure that our youth can understand and see the opportunities that are right in the backyards. So on the stump, you know, cutting the trees down, the mechanical 
uh, forest component of it, the CDL drivers, the mechanics that are needed, the little grocery store down on the corner, right? It's essential. They're selling the diesel fuel that all the trucks need. They sell the sandwiches that all of our drivers need. All of that is part of the big picture. When a big company from away says, we're going to invest millions of dollars in a community, you know, they've got places that they could do it other than Holton, Maine but they're doing it at Holt, Maine because of the workforce that he's helped build out there. I feel that he is, has been really thinking out of the box for a long time. So you talk about the DEI initiative that's very popular and hot right now. I think we've all been doing that for many, many years. We just kind of, you know, put some letters to it. When we have diversity in our workforce, we're gonna have better ideas. We're gonna have, uh, you know, thought processes that are all a little different. Therefore, we might be able to make a more informed decision and therefore be better in what we do every day. Congratulations to LP Building Products and Ryan Bushy on winning this year's MDF Champion of Rural Economic Development Award. Ryan was not able to be with us today. He is presenting at a conference in Wisconsin, and the senior leadership team from LP is hosting an all-employee appreciation day today and could not be here with us. Amy London, director of Region 2 School of Applied Technology, who you heard from in the video, is with me on stage, and she'll be bringing the physical award back to Brian and his LP colleagues. Also with me here on stage is Billy Griffith, Senior Vice President of Community Banking from Katahdin Trust, the sponsor of this year's award. And they say, Katahdin Trust is proud to sponsor this award. As a large employer in Aroostook County, LP plays a significant role in the Aroostook County economy. We couldn't be happier for Ryan and the LP staff for achieving this recognition and award. It is well deserved. Thank you.